Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Epic Crisis. I'm going to be giving you a heads up of new events coming out, characters, banners, uh, current things in the game that you don't want to miss out. They're limited, especially the Buster Sword upgrade if you're new to the game. That is something we want to go over and just keep reminding every month. But they did drop some stuff on the global side of Twitter and the Japanese side of Twitter ahead of time. So I'm going to go over that with you guys, including everything in game. So quickly in game is just go to exchange and metal exchange the co-op stuff was just refilled so if you didn't grab your weekly uh mithril ore and all these upgrade materials make sure you guys are doing co-ops and keeping up to date with that especially because they just dropped i believe matt's weapon parts and then in the crisis metals there was another buster sword i bought mine already my buster sword is currently ob i think it's seven i know one of our uh one of our tenant crew members in the discord they have a fully maxed out buster sword really freaking awesome i actually can show you guys a picture for that so as you guys can see here quits has his first ob10 this is all the way back in march 1st march 1st 11 18 a.m <laughs> first ob10 bus sword out of a 7.7 million people now this was before level 120 so they have level 80 out of 80 but this was a max out buster sword back then they are one of the bigger whales great person to talk to don't do this. Don't use your weapon parts for this. This is just something they can do because they got every other weapon pretty much maxed out to OB10 at that point. And you can see they're making it level 90. Absolutely insane. Level 90, boss of sword. Again, huge congrats. And that's huge internet PP right there. <laughs> As for the rest of us, we've got the OB7 currently if you're a day one player. If not, every month the Crisis Dungeon does update that. So make sure to grab your boss of sword and those Kolb Shop items. Again, free poll. I'd like to remind you guys on this because a lot of people do forget. Don't forget to do your free poll. I'm going to do mine with you real quick. Hopefully, you guys can give me some luck out of this. And then we're going to talk about all the new stuff coming to the game. No Murasami costume. I like to skip these because there's so many. Hey, we got something. Aerith. Oh, who cares? <laughs> Striking staff. Melee Aerith. Not yet. Maybe one day, but not yet. Hey, but a gold is a gold, so I'll take it. Uh, besides that, the current bunny event, don't worry about it. I know a lot of people are complaining of how bad the whole like time gate thing is. Make sure you guys just collect your actual, uh, what do you call it, gathering. Don't let it max out. And right now, as of right now, we got to wait until April 2nd, 7 p.m. PDT to get the next quest going. Besides that, it's 20 days. You'll have more than enough as long as you're clearing them and not letting that overrun. As for new things, let's jump in and actually, let me see if they put in a notice. No, they haven't updated it yet. Yeah, they haven't updated it yet. Oh, well, there is emergency maintenance, by the way. 600 free blue crystals. They talked about on the Twitter. Uh, here's the Japanese side, and here's the English side. So the English side is saying, here's 600 free crystals for the disturbance. Cool, and we got 10 stamina pots for that. But we haven't really got an update on week five. What we did get was this. Reeves. Never was a playable character in Final Fantasy VII, and I was like, oh! That's so cool. And then you look over here, Inspire, right? And you're like, oh, it's April 1st. We're not actually getting Reeves. He's just, they're just, they're just trying to be cute. They're just trying to be funny. Reeve will be a playable in-game starting April 3rd along with a new chapter. Check out this sneak peek of his limit break. Inspire <laughs> has a set chance to imbue in inorganic enemies with life. Affected enemies will attack other enemies for a certain amount of time. Pretty cute, pretty funny. But the real thing that's gonna be happening is this ah my ears i hate i hate how loud that is it's i'm so sorry so as you guys can see they are going to be talking about a couple things in this video one like we talked about new character we saw high wind so we're like maybe sid but we all knew kate sith should have been first kate sith is coming and he looks like he might be a healer so new chapter and i kind of want to put the music here i know it's usually really really loud hey but it's so good. It's so good. We all know the theme. So we're going to the beach. We're going to see uh, this prick of a person. We're going to the gold saucer. And there he is. Kate Sith. And I know I'm blocking it. I'm going to get out of the way. Or you know what? Here, I'll just move the whole thing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm super excited for this, man. I really, really am. And we can see we're going to the prison. Everything looks like it's so far. And obviously there's the, the one of his attacks, but you can see this is going to be very exciting. I'm actually excited for a new map and new area, especially when we're getting to this part of the story. For some reason, when I was like playing Final Fantasy VII and thinking about these days, 
I really go back to this a lot, right? The chokeable races are around the corner too. Hopefully we do get gold saucer mini games. Like I've been preaching for so many months, put mini games in this game. If it's not the new Queen's Blood, chokeable racing, anything, anything, anything. But here it is. Cade Sith with one of his dice rolls. And if you look closely, I'm pretty sure he's going to end up being a healer with a little bit of buffing, hopefully really good AOE buffs, and then uh, some damage if he can be a damage character. It's always nice to have more. But chapter six, but that's not it. But that's not it. But that's not it. You know what that says there? I don't know what that says. You know what I see? Limit breaks. New limit breaks. Uh, Clem Hanker, something like that. I believe that is. We got Barrett's Missile One. There's Glenn's new one, Sephiroth's new one. Everything is being updated. So new limit breaks are going to be happening, and these look fantastic. Now, I do want to talk about that limit breaks means that we're going to have to go end game, and we're going to have to go into the growth stream. Most likely, that's how they're going to do it. And the problem with that, the growth stream takes memory crystals. Unless you're a day one player and you begin all the event free crystals, you're going to have to try to decide now where your premium quests go. Are you going to keep farming the only way to get level 120 weapons? Or do we go back and farm memory crystals? My recommendation is probably just stick to the weapon stuff unless you're brand new and you need a little bit of boost. Uh, because all the events that come out do drop a lot of those weapon crystals in the shops themselves. Like if we go to exchange right now, we have 20 here, 20 here. And I believe they usually put 50 to 100 depending on how special the event is. So we do get quite a lot, but it depends how expensive these new ones are going to be. So, with that being said, we're also getting new banner. Like I said, new character, new banner, and there's another Easter banner. So there actually might be two banners for Kate Sith. The release banner of the character for normal weapons, and then his Easter one, or hopefully they just mix into one, and it's with Tifa. So if you pull for this, you pull for Tifa, and you pull for his new stuff all at the same time. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it should just be the one banner, though. He does look really cute, but Tifa looks... Mmm. Yep. Sorry. Yes, you lose. You 100% lose. Th that Does that dolphin? It might be. It might be. Hey, hey, hey. He looks amazing. By the way, here's the part with the healing I was talking about. That is totally a healing spell. Boom. And it's casted on the self. So it's either a regen, healing, and again, with the megaphones and everything, I'm expecting him to have AoE party buffs or AoE enemy debuffs, but at high potency, not just mid, some really good stuff, because Kate Sith is a really good support character. So that is what's happening. That's currently on the Japanese. That's going to be released on the global side, so we can read all the translations. And uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. Just keep farming, keep up to date with all this, do your daily you know, energy spend, and you guys are good. It's very straightforward at the moment, and with the release of Gold Saucer plus Kate Sith and the High Wind, which is going to be most likely the guild system, uh, I'm hoping the game gets a little bit more oomph out of all of this because it does need mini games and it does need some way to communicate with other players besides just a friend code and co-ops that just make us grind the same boss over and over and over. So I'm hopefully they start dashing extra stuff there. If not, the game will become a very stale or just a very casual login. Do one or two quests and log out, which is a gotcha game and most people like it that way. But when you really enjoy something, you want to see a little bit more love out of it. And I'm one of those people that like to see a little bit more love out of these games, especially when it comes to Final Fantasy VII. Can't go wrong. But besides that, hopefully I covered everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll smell you later.